If it wasn't for the existential dread of our looming death, I'd say we were doing pretty well. Hello lovelies, Cuckoo Cuckoo here, and welcome back to the Strangerville Asylum where the Gnome Council rules. We had a nice break spending a week playing Alchemy Story. If you missed that, it will link to that playlist in the underbar because I completed that Let's Play. I'm kind of sad about it. But I'm really excited to be back in the Strangerville Asylum and all of this insanity. Our goal is to complete the best-selling author aspiration, of which we still have two tiers, and the grilled cheese aspiration, which also has two more tiers. We're doing fine. Everything is fine. We're definitely not going to die before completing the challenge. Molly just staged up. She looks so miserable. And we really have just been taken over by gnomes. This one looks like he's leading the troops in some sort of act of rebellion. Anderson aged up. Larry and Tanya are the only ones left. Amelia's awake and eating grilled cheese for breakfast. We're gonna eat two. Maybe three. We need to eat ten as quickly as possible. And we need to keep talking about grilled cheese with our friends or fellow inmates. Oh, we can talk to Felix too. I appreciate that our ghost friends come and haunt us. It's nice to know they haven't forgotten us. We need to talk to one more sim about grilled cheese. I can't remember who we've talked to about it. Anderson, get back here. Talk about grilled cheese with us. We did it! Now we just need to cook three group servings of grilled cheese and eat, I think, six more sandwiches. I think this is number four. The gnomes keep glowing and giving us seed packets, which is nice. Harvest Fest was awful. Oh, it was pretty good for Amelia. She's the only one we care about. Okay, come resume writing better than the alternative. A thoughtful screenplay on the trials of aging, something we know a little bit about. We're a literal genius. We maxed the writing skill. Oh, I forgot we had these pretty pictures on the wall. And balloons. Oh, when I think of how much time we've wasted in this LP, like I spent so much time painting after we'd completed the painter aspiration when I could have been writing. I upgraded a bunch of stuff that we really didn't need to upgrade. Although I don't regret upgrading the bed or the shower. Being able to sleep and shower faster is a good thing. Sleep faster. There's a thing. This LP is literally just going to be Amelia sitting here at this computer, but it's so tense because she's going to die any day now. I was thinking about this. In video games, I try and use every second to move the story forward or to build up my assets or whatever. Like, I don't like to waste a single moment. And in real life, I waste time all the time. Like, that's just what I do. Like, browse Facebook for three hours instead of working on my novel? Sure. You would think real time would be more valuable to me, but it takes so much more effort to do stuff in real life. This could get into a real serious, like, philosophical discussion about video games versus is reality. I, I don't know. I might be overthinking this. We've almost completed our book and then we're gonna play Sims for a bit, which isn't meta at all. And then we're gonna write another screenplay. So that's what we do here. Why don't we have snowboarding in The Sims now? Don't show us the great things we used to have. Stop playing games. That's enough fun for you. All about Cleave. Sure. I'm too lazy to change the title anymore. I also think we have to go to the bathroom more as an elder, so that's fun. Oh, look at us. We've been friends since we were young adults. Now we're elders. Molly still thinks she's a child. We're going to sell our last book to publisher and then continue writing this one. I feel like I should probably sell the gnomes. They've kind of taken over the kitchen. We only need to publish eight more books. We're doing great. We made 2,000 simoleons off of our royalties. Larry aged up. Tanya's the only one left. I don't think she's ever going to age. Is the bed open? No. I think we get tired faster, too. Being old sucks. We're almost done with our book. Man, she just cranks them out. As someone who has spent nine years trying to get their first novel ready to publish, I don't appreciate this. As someone trying to complete this aspiration before Amelia dies, I absolutely appreciate it. So, you know, it's fine. Just seven more novels to publish. Oh, 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 the bed's open. Sleeping is a waste of time, but we gotta do it. We're not allowed to use aspiration points in this challenge, so I can't just drink energy potions like I do in every other LP. Go to Sleep. Sleep fast. All right, we're awake. Time to cook some grilled cheese. I know we're just in this routine of like, right, eat grilled cheese, right, eat grilled cheese, take care of needs. But it's so tense. Tanya aged up. We are officially in old folks home. She's still gorgeous. Where are you going with that grilled cheese sandwich? Upstairs? Why? I had to talk to Molly. I guess we can take a shower while we're up here. I also should have learned to sing so I could sing in the shower. Bring my fun and hygiene up at the same time. Oh well. Okay, we're gonna eat one more grilled cheese sandwich. Then we're gonna play more Sims. I'm kind of obsessed with the gnomes like surrounding the stove, doing some kind of ritual. This guy's leading it from behind. It's great. 
kick Anderson right off the computer. Okay, stop playing video games. Write another screenplay. It happened one lunch break. Short. I've got to remember to switch to the writing aspiration or completing this book won't count and I might die. I am so stressed. Like, for the past week of playing Alchemy Story, I've just had this challenge in the back of my mind, like, haunting me. Like, there's no way you can complete it before Amelia dies. And that's probably true. We've put so much work into this challenge. Will it all be for nothing? I have to ramp the melodrama because it's really just Amelia sitting here typing. What's everyone else up to? Jayla's haunting us. Tanya's actually sleeping, not just napping. Anderson's moping around. Is he gonna fix the shower? Good boy, Anderson. I don't even know where Molly is. Seriously, where is Molly? Oh, she's just talking to herself on the porch. And Larry's standing in the hall doing nothing. They're all very exciting. But y'all should be proud of me because we have more than half of our inmates still alive. Anderson fixed the shower. We finished another book! We only need to write six more to finish this tier. I think we have to write more after that. Screenplay! Go! Go, go, go! It happened one lunch break, two. Oh, the bed was open, but Anderson got there before we could. Oh, except he's up! I don't know why he's up. Oh, he got up to pass out. Well, we'll come steal the bed before he can get up again. Oh, he's up again! But he went to mourn over the urns instead of sleeping. I know, I miss Octavio too. All right, Amelia's asleep. We beat Larry to the bed. Ha ha ha. We made 2300 off of our book sales. Making money in our sleep. It's raining, it's holding. The old lady's panicking. We're making more grilled cheese, even though there's some in the fridge, because cooking it is one of our goals too. If only we had a TV that we could watch while we ate. That would be really nice. Ooh, our observatory is broken. Like, we can't even repair it. Oh, it must have got struck by lightning. Too bad I didn't get that on tape. Sorry, I miss all the interesting stuff. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. But you get me singing in a horrifying voice, so that's fun. Larry, don't leave food on the stove. That's how fires happen. We're eating another sandwich. We are a champion. We're never even hungry. We just eat all the time. I know your fun is low. Somebody broke my computer. I don't have time to repair it. Anderson, where are you? Come fix my computer. Hey there, neighbor. Do I hear the sizzle of something broken in there? Oh dear. Would you like help with that? I'm a bit of a handy sim. Oh, please. Come fix my computer. There's no rule against this. Partly because it wasn't a thing in The Sims when this challenge was created, but it's fine. Oh, Tanya repaired it. We didn't need this lady. We can still chat with her. Oh no, we finished our sandwich. So we gotta go work on our book. We only need to eat two more sandwiches to finish this tier. Oh, actually, I think we have some books to publish. Just one. Oh, Amelia's a rising star. Wait, is that level two celebrity? We actually reached level two. I never thought it would happen. This is the first time someone besides an inmate and death has hung out here. Let's play some Sims until we're not- you know what? We're not even tense. Can you even die of low fun? If you can't, I'm just going to ignore that need. We gotta crank out another screenplay. Larry, get off the computer. Mm. Who needs fun? It's fine. We can have fun when we're dead. I think the only reason we're able to write with our fun this slow is because we have the strongest inspired club vibe. I just love abusing the club system so much. We finished another book! That's all the excellent quality books we need, and we can publish it, so we only need to write five more! Keep going! Write another screenplay. Twilight Boulevard, sure. It's about vampires. I hate seeing one of our needs so red, even though I know it doesn't matter. It's fine. It would be really funny if we died of boredom. I don't like this spider. Why did I add that again? It's so ooky. And it just went through the floor. Don't like. At least we don't have spiders that drop down from the ceiling anymore. The negative lot traits are really intense. I guess the spider one wouldn't have been as big of a deal if we could go to El Salvadorada and get spider spray. But the cursed lot trait is ridiculous. The amount of fires we had was out of control. How could you ever play like that? Ooh, had an idea. I'm plotting ideas for our next Let's Play since this one is clearly coming up on the end. And we finished the Alchemy Story one, and I don't know how long the Bunny Park one is gonna last. I haven't actually played Bunny Park yet. I'm really excited about it. We finished another book! Let's publish them so I can keep track of how many we need to do. And so we keep getting paid. Four more! <laughs> We're fine. Anybody in the bed? Nope, let's go sleep. Sleep is such a waste of time, but that one we have to do or we'll keep passing out. Fun is not necessary. Oh, no! Tanya beat us to the bed! Hate you, Tanya. Well, let's go write another screenplay until we pass out. It happened one lunch break. Three! Apparently that series is real popular. Or it's not popular, but we're still cranking them out. Never stopped the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Like seriously, was anyone still watching those by like six or however many they even made? 
I stopped after, I think, three. I think I saw three. I don't know, because I remember two being pretty bad. Tanya! Good morning! Wake up! How long until we pass out? Oh, we become exhausted in ten minutes. We got time. And we're almost done with our screenplay. Oh, she's up! And we finished the screenplay. That was good timing. Whew, we made it to bed! Yay! And we made almost 3,000 simoleons off our books. All right, we're up and taking a speedy quick shower. Then we'll come cook another serving of grilled cheese and chat with Tanya since we're ran- Oh, she's leaving us. Somebody chat with me, I'm really lonely. We're gonna pester Anderson while he's on the computer. This is our last sandwich of this tier. We have the house of grilled cheese. It is all we eat. Grilled cheese and gnomes. That's what we got going on here. We're almost done with our 10th sandwich. Oh, we finished it. Woohoo. Okay, we need to eat a grilled cheese sandwich in space, which we totally can do. Cook an excellent quality grilled cheese sandwich, which we've done like a million times, and talk to the Grim Reaper about grilled cheese. Can we invite him over? We can chat with him, but if we can't invite him over, over, we're gonna have to kill somebody. Maybe yeah, if I send him a text, he'll come over. Okay, we'll wait a little while, see if he'll ask us if we want to hang out. If not, actually, I'm just gonna switch aspirations real quick. I'm bringing the spiders back. Ugh, I hate them. I was just talking about how glad I am that they're gone, but I want somebody to die of spiders. The problem is because we have a chess table, everyone's been building up their logic and that's how you evade spiders, but hopefully someone will die. I'd say just wait for someone to die of old age, but I think we're gonna be the first one to do that. It happened one lunch break. What are we on? Five? No, we'll make it a V. This is the only one that's a Roman numeral. I don't know. I don't know what this series is. Why can't we invite Death over if we're- I guess we're not friends with him, but we're acquaintances. What other way could we kill somebody without cheating? We might be able to lock someone in a room so they starve to death. That takes forever, but we could do it. Felix literally just haunted this spider web. What do you think? We could come lock someone in the horrifying clown room. I know it seems mean, but we'll do anything to get out of here. Who should we kill? Tanya for being too beautiful? And for always stealing the bed when we want it? Oh, we have two books to publish. I gotta keep up on this or I'm gonna not complete the task just because I forgot to publish it. We only need two more. Here, we'll say go here together and whoever gets to the room first is the one who dies. It's Molly! Lock door for everyone. Oh, we all made it in though. <laughs> okay, we'll unlock the door because we don't all want to be locked in there. Okay, now the last one to leave is the one who dies. Molly, it's gonna be you again. Molly or Anderson, who's gonna die? Oh, Molly. Had to be Molly. Sorry, Molly. Maybe someone will get killed by spiders before you die. We worked so hard to save her, and now I'm killing her. <sighs> it's a weird world. Oh, Larry's in the bed. Alright, let's work on a screenplay until we pass out. Again. We didn't pass out last time. Oh, not a science fiction. Screenplay sell some more. Come on, spiders. Kill somebody before Molly dies. Oh my gosh, we just keep writing. It happened one lunch break. I think this is number six. We may have skipped four, but in some cultures, isn't four the number of death? Like, 13's our unlucky number? Or is it six? I don't remember. I might be making stuff up. Aw, Felix left, so Molly's on her own now. I should have locked her in the room with the dollhouse. Then at least she'd have something to do. But, you know, she has this horrifying clown painting to keep her company. I feel really bad about this, but I have to talk to death about grilled cheese. It's very important. Oh, Larry's awake. Come sleep. Come sleep. Oh, Anderson beat us to the bed. Curse you. I wish you'd been the one to die. All right, let's come try and work on our books some more. Oh, we have bills. Only 600. Our bills definitely went down. And we just made over 3,000 on book royalties. All right, let's come pay our bills, publish our book, and then try and make it to the bed before anyone else. We only need to publish one more book. Larry? Larry? Weren't you just in the bed? Okay, we made it. Whew. Poor Molly. She still has 23 hours before she even gets ravenous. It's gonna take forever for her to die. And it is really ironic that we're killing Molly, but what are you gonna do? All right, we're cooking a grilled cheese sandwich. Hopefully it'll be excellent quality. It should be. We're a really good cook by this point. Yay, we did it. Okay, we're not gonna eat this. Stop. Where, where are you going? Where are you going with that sandwich? Amelia, what are you doing? Just put it down. Sure. Go back downstairs. Just put the sandwich in your inventory. I don't know if we have to have a grilled cheese sandwich in our inventory to eat one in space, but we'll see. Yeah, we do. Okay. I like that eat grilled cheese sandwich in space is like the easiest part of this challenge. So Amelia's off to eat her grilled cheese sandwich in space. Next episode, hopefully Molly will die before Amelia does. As sad as that is, we have to talk to the Grim Reaper about grilled cheese. Hopefully we will also publish one more book and then complete the last tier of the author aspiration. We are so close to victory, I can taste it, but death is just around the corner, so we'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye!